isn't it? Where every political group should have their action plan to tackle sexual harassment. And what we need is the discussion, like the uh, awareness raising of how this is played out in a political room, for example. I mean, maybe I, I, would, I experience sexual harassment, but also sexism, so that you are, you know, um, in a situation, a vulnerable situation, where people are just um, attributing some special... Uh, features for you just because you're young just because you're a woman and that's yeah. also kind of you know um, affecting your your possibility to work. act politically yeah since yeah. this as you both said that this is a male dominated place i mean don't the men have a, men have responsibilities too i mean the other hashtag in the plenary session in october was our responsibility i yeah. believe so yeah. how's that where where's the where's the position of of male uh, members of parliament here i think it's very weak i mean we have a very we have a I'm Swedish and I think it's uh, starting to bubble like this kind of male consciousness about after the Me Too movement. I've seen many men like organizing themselves to address these issues because it, of course it's about masculinity. But I think we're very, very far behind in this yeah. house. It's, it's a kind of a, you know, Just, role that you play so, when you're a politician to be this kind of man or whatever. In and 2013, the Ombudsman um, lashed out against the yeah. European Parliament over a, a specific case that yeah. took a very long time to, yeah. to have action. So should cases be taken outside of the European Parliament for anything to change? Also, just let's not forget that the fact that what exists within the European it's Parliament... It's an example, is, it's a microcosm, yeah, obviously, of... of if, you just, if you're a victim and if you want to formally complain, you go to the police directly, and that is, like, the criminal law, of course. But I think the priority is just to have, like, the right person at the right moment and also getting the information. What is your right as the worker of the European Parliament? So this is why, like, we coordinated a group of workers of the European Parliament, like making the, the access to the information about your rights and the existing bodies in, if you want to formally complain, because that's the first difficulty.